Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? I'm sorry if I just busted your eardrums. I was kind of low. It's your boy, Trippy here, coming at you with another Madden 19 video today, man. I can't really say another because I didn't post anything today. Uh, I was supposed to have this video out to you yesterday, man, but I posted up, if you haven't checked it out already, my top five budget users in Madden 19. I'm kind of proud of this video, only because I don't really think anybody else has had this video, but link for that video will be in the top right of the screen. But I'm bringing you the prime time performers video, man. Uh, I did the top five users video yesterday and my computer was uploading the damn thing so slow so I had to go to bed for work so I didn't have time to sit here and wait for two videos to upload considering that I made one like right after. I'm also getting sick again man this is getting terrible. I'm having a terrible cough, I've got the runny nose and all this crap. I'm looking like a, one of those kids on a Puffs commercial. Either way man I'm pretty sure you guys already know. But I still appreciate you for stopping by on this video, man. On a quest for 50 subscribers before the end of the year, man. I'm at like 34, so 16 more subscribers, man. 50 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. I don't know exactly on what. Um, I'm gonna try to make it good for you guys, man, to show all the love that you guys show me. Now, I don't get the most views or uh, most subscribers or anything like that, but it's still cool that I have people that, you know, at least stop by, check out my video, even if it is for like two minutes, you know. Man, go ahead and click that subscribe button for you, boy, man. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, let me know what you think of these primetime performers and uh, also let me know what other type of videos you would like to see from me other than Madden updates uh, I'm gonna start doing gameplays again. I finally got my offense down I couldn't keep giving you gameplays with good defense and ass offense. So I'm uh, I'm gonna get back to that uh, Also, I'm gonna start doing let's plays on this channel um, I had a lot of games that are coming out in you know the start of January like you know the Resident Evil 2 remakes and um, I think Devil May Cry and then Kingdom Hearts stuff like that. I'm a nerd if you don't know So aside from you know watching football and doing all those things man I enjoy playing games that you know have some sort of intricate storylines and um, You know kind of science fiction fantasy anime role type things, you know Yet again nerd stuff either way. Let's go ahead and get into the primetime performers of the week Man, we got mr. Jordan Howard and Casey Hayward and here we are man We've got Jordan Howard, prime top performer 94 overall. We'll go ahead and read his description first, and we'll compare him. So, week 8, 2016, Howard was impressive on Monday Night Football, piling up 202 yards from scrimmage on 30 touches and a TD, a tutty, if you will. The Bears upset the Vikings 20-10 to get their second win of la season. So, currently going for 650K. Um, not much, well, 625 at the moment. I guess everybody's pulling them like hotcakes, and nobody really wants them. With all the good running backs in the game, and I can't really blame him. So, let's compare him to Zeke Elliott, man. So, we're going to read his stats off as if he was powered up. Yeah, I fumbled my words. Don't judge me. So, he'll have a 92 speed, one less than uh, Zeke. He'll have a 93 acceleration, one more than Zeke. He'll have a 91 agility, which is four less than Zeke. Um, Karen will be a 96, which is crazy because Zeke doesn't fumble. Uh, his catching will be two less than Zeke. Uh, looseness will be minus one. Trucking will be a plus, what, 15, 16? That's crazy. Um, and then his break tackle will be minus four compared to, uh, Zeke. So, two different type of backs, if you will, but they're, they still both get the job done. One's the lightning, one's the thunder, man. Here we are, man. We got Casey. Hayward, 94 overall cornerback, formerly of the Green Bay Packers. Week 6, 2012, Hayward had two fourth quarter interceptions against the Texans on Sunday Night Football. The Packers went on to win 42-24, giving the Texans a first loss of the season. Uh, this card actually looks pretty good. Pretty damn good, if I might add. Uh, 90 speed uh, with Tyreek Hill and all them boys out. He should fare very well, but... With 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 89 agility, 85 jumping, 96 play recognition, 94 man coverage, 96 zone coverage, and a 94 press. You are looking at someone who will most likely have 99 man and zone with a really good press. This is crazy, man. We're going to compare him to Deion Sanders, man. Deion Sanders, of course, has all the physical attributes uh, that are better than um, Mr. Hayward. But uh, his play recognition will be exactly the same when he's powered up, of course. His man coverage will be minus one. His zone coverage will actually be a plus one. So my man's basically looking at a hundred zone coverage, bro. A hundred. I mean, that's just me, the way I'm putting it. But either way, you get what I'm saying. With a 94 press, 95 when powered up. 
Bro, this card is crazy. This card is crazy, son. Even if compared him to Slay, the dude's a goon. He may lack a little bit of speed compared to some cornerbacks, but dude's a monster, and that's why he is selling for 1 million coins. Way more than Deion Sanders was. And I. So those are the uh, prime time performers for the week, man. We're going to see if we can. I tried to pull some yesterday, right before I made the video. That's why I have six packs remaining. Um, spend damn near all my coins. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple of these packs. I could finish them out, but I don't think I'll get anything good out of these packs. Man, they won't treat me right yesterday. So I'm, I'm not gonna waste my time doing all that as we get an 80 overall. Justin Pugh, Puh. I'm gonna say Puh, just for shits and giggles. I've seen a lot of crazy pulls out of that pack, man. You never know. Yeah, never. The last one I opened up was absolute ass though. All right, last, this is gonna be my last pack, man. I'm already under 100 coins, 100,000 coins. Oh, as we get, I don't know if this is a new one. No, September standout. Uh, Bradley McDougal, strong safety for the Seattle Seahawks. 86 overall, probably not going for a lot, but could definitely use him for one of these power up, or not power up sets. Um, you know, flashback or heavyweight sets. So, sorry, I really couldn't give you, you know, any crazy pulls, but we got two great, two pretty good cards out in the game right now, man. Unfortunately, with, you know, Ricky, Ezekiel Elliott, Todd Gurley being available with training points, really kind of lowered the value of Jordan Howard, but Casey Hayward, man, it's a pretty good addition to the team if you can get him. Also, you know, pretty soon you will be able to upgrade him using training points, and it'll take about 11,000, which is probably close to, what, 500K? 400 and some change, maybe if you get some pretty good uh, 93 overall team of the week bosses. So you're looking at a pretty decent amount of uh, training. So Oh, his, his uh, ultimate kickoff went up just a little bit, and his case, this uh, base elite Casey Hayward actually went up probably about 20,000 coins, so not really going to cost you a whole hell of a lot. I don't know. I might pick him up for the team. Who's my slot going to back? DRC. DRC actually balls out for me, man, so I don't know. That could be a toughie. Could definitely be a toughie. So, I'll consider doing all that later on, man. But either way, that'll be the end for today's video, guys. Yet again, I'm sorry I could not get you some crazy... Crazy, crazy prime top performer pool like I did a couple weeks ago. That is what it is. You win some, you lose some. But we do have basically a hundred zone coverage cornerback, man. Absolutely ridiculous. So smack that like button if you enjoy it, man. Two piece that mofo to help the channel grow tremendously. Also, let me know down below what you think of this week's prime top performers, man. Um, also, let me know what you think of that uh that Dallas Saints game yesterday, bro. Me personally, I think it was one of the craziest games I've seen. Just seeing the look in Drew Brees' eyes as he took the field on that last drive when he had a chance to win. Dude looked distraught, bro. I already knew that that pick was going to happen. It just wasn't their night. Either way, let me know what you think of that game down below. Also, stay tuned for more videos coming to the channel, man. I'm pretty excited to give you those gameplays that I was talking about, plus more Madden 19 content. So stay tuned for that. In order to stay tuned, bro, you got to subscribe to the channel, bro. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, man. You know you like your boy, man. You know you you know you know fucks with me. Don't sit here and lie, man. If you made it this long in the video, you know you fucks with me at some level. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, man. Follow me on Twitter. At me, bro. Let me know that you subscribe to me, man. I'm always available. DM me. At me. It doesn't matter, bro. But until next time, guys. Peace.